Hello and good morning to everybody this morning. I hope that you're having a wonderful on past the day. I know that I am. And I uh, ask that you forgive my appearance this morning. I'm uh, just right here in the house and uh, going live simply because we've got so many things going on and uh, about, to, about to love life. Um, for those that didn't get to see the... Uh, the the live last night or not the live but the uh, the zoom with all the founders and just kind of celebrating you know where we're at and what we're doing uh, I would certainly encourage you to go to the back office uh, there is a link back there that uh, was put up that'll take you to an unlisted uh, I think it's unlisted unlisted zoom or I believe uh, uh, I think it might be on uh, Marty's YouTube, but it was it was a good time. It was a little hectic, a little chaotic getting going. But Mr. Mufara, uh, again, you know, in in uh, a true form, showed up and gave us uh, a little information last night. And you know, you just gotta love where we're going. So I I, I thought you know I'm gonna do a live this morning before. My wife gets home and we we go on our, our daily walk, uh, you know, with the puppies and such, just to kind of, uh, you know, clear the air a bit. I'm getting a lot of a lot of uh, emails, a lot of texts, phone calls, even saying, "Hey, I don't know what's going on. What about this? What about that?" Um, hi, everybody there. I, I see uh, uh, Animesh, uh, Mahadio, uh, in it to win it, and Charity and uh, Mariana. Man, all, all you guys, pre good to see you here, brother. Uh, Lewis, good to see all you guys, too. Um, but I wanted to just say, you know, there's a lot of things that is going on behind the scenes of our passive right now. So just, just you know, like Michael Williams says, it's just trust the process. It, it's, it's happening, and it's happening the way that it should. It's unfolding the, the, the right way. So to the best of our ability, let's treat our business and – what we say about our business, right? How we act very seriously, right? Because soon, very soon, founders are going to be registering in the old founders back office. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. So right out of the gate, do not, as a founder, please do not go to onpassive.com and register or create a new registration. That is not for us. That is a public domain on passive.com. Registration is for the new folks that are going to be coming in. Uh, we'll talk a little about that too. Um, one of the reasons that we want to make sure that we do what we're supposed to, you know, which is to register for the new O-mail in, in from the back office is to aid in the transition from O founders to the on paths of OCO's ecosystem, excuse me. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit too. We want it to be seamless. And to, just to make sure that everybody, we, when we all come in, we come into the structure in, in the right place, uh, whether you're a founder or whether you are an on passive member to be and you have a new registration through the onpassive.com site, which is active right now. Now within the new, uh, the new ecosystem, uh, the dashboard, right? We're going to have, uh, once that's up and running, there's going to be uh, proper terms and language. You know, Mr. Mufara has said that we're going to see a, a new area called, you know, my users. Uh, some of them will be founders. Others will be new registrations. that will all come in. They'll, they'll be dealing with that. Um, we've started to have a lot more uh, visitors, a lot of new visitors and a lot of new registrations. Uh, they're, all those that are coming in from onpassive.com right now are starting to put it, put in a separate tank, if you will. Um, and once we have the founders all moved over, you know, through uh, the new O mail accordingly, uh, then we're going to start relocating, co-locating perhaps um, those that are coming in from the new traffic to the founders, you know, uh, from the marketing campaigns and such. So to, to satisfy uh, curiosities and so that we're not overly concerned about things, just understand that the stuff that we're going through right now is normal. When we have uh, systems that are being put in place and integrated and run live, and they've got so many moving parts, 
There's a difference between having of those that we operate with on a daily basis that are less feature rich uh, than the full blown version. And when we start running live with these and put these things in, you get little little kinks. You get little glitches or challenges that happen. These things are normal. Um, we are experiencing some of this stuff as we go live. Uh, when we start to integrate the applications, right? No matter how much testing is done or verification for integration and all of that stuff, right? Before we go uh, to 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 a live scenario with it, things things happen um, that we don't expect. And we've talked about this in the past where. Uh, remember, we said that when we bring something live, you, you you put a load on it, you test it, and then you put higher load, bigger load, and the more load, and then maybe something will break, maybe it won't. If it does, great. We know there's a weakness. We fix it, and we move on. So especially when we have so many things together, a lot of these things that we're experiencing, um, we're expecting them, you know, but some things happen. And so just just understand there's a lot of stuff not only the the integration and migration of the data and the, fixing some of the challenges as we go live but there's a lot of other stuff happening behind the scenes or scenes of on passive and, and the, the teams have been uh extremely busy uh they've been very very diligent especially the last uh you know 24 36 hours they have been working very long hours for us and they have been doing a lot of this transition you know some of the uh, examples that Mr. Bufara gave us last week, excuse me, <laughs> it's been a long morning, uh, gave us uh, yesterday evening, last night, rather, you know, uh, as far as debugging with some of the stuff he mentioned, um, you know, there, uh, well, go back and listen. I, I don't want to get into that here on a public thing, but there's a few things, a few examples that are just run of the mill things that happen that have already been fixed and we're we're moving forward right um where some things didn't happen we expected them to you know uh with with either emails or other integration or or the way things worked or looked and you know mr mufara he loves he loves uh fresh and he loves uh fancy and pretty and he loves uh quality and value and so when you have something like that, he, they just kind of stop. They fix it right there on the fly and plug it back in and move it. So uh, that's all going on in the background. Now, it, it works very, very well, and it's going to work uh, a lot better as, as we move forward. These things have been taken care of. They are being continually taken care of with other things that are going on in the background. And all of these occurrences are natural. Okay, They're normal. When we integrate applications, uh, we have multiple applications like that. Okay, I've said it. You know, when you expand things out to the cloud or you start running them online in real time, things happen, right? Of course, if you think about this now, in, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be resuming the, uh, uh, the, the market, the branding from the Burj Khalifa, and uh, all that's going to be happening even as and while we stabilize our platform still even more. And lately, especially you know, in the last 48 hours um, or 36 hours, perhaps, we've seen a huge spike in the traffic uh, since probably the 18th, 19th of uh, November, two or three days ago. Um, when, when the founders have been moved into the the ecosystem uh then we're also going to see some uh some nice uh tools and and, and things that we're going to be able to use uh fun things you right to start choosing uh that, that that we can choose from our rack office from the ecosystem that we can use to invite others and we can we can go out and send to friends and families or whatever you want to do right uh you're also going to see the marketing um effects of that as, as it kicks in uh and to help um, Mr. Bufar has indicated that, you know, as I just said, he, he put some pretty fun tools in there that uh, we're going to be able to help uh, founders get the word out 
even concurrently with the marketing and the campaigns that on passive will be doing you know for sharing and inviting others and this is all very very likely to go viral so we're not too far away from being able to put our hands on the products in a way i mean <laughs> uh i know that sounds weird to put your hands on a digital product but but you understand what i'm saying is we're going to start populating the uh, digital ecosystem that we have, the on passive uh, ecosystem, so that we will, uh, you know, get to use these products little by little as they come out, and then we'll start adding more and more and more. And that is the plan. We have a schedule, and we're obviously very excited, every one of us, about rolling this new ecosystem out for us. And uh, we're just urging you. I'm urging you, don't stress out over it. Don't don't get caught up in and just trying to figure things out, trust the process, just know that things are working the way they're supposed to be working and they're working very well. I have gotten a lot of emails about a lot of texts, you know, and, and some phone calls where people are just, they're nervous. They don't understand. They want to know things. And I'm like, check out your back room, stay plugged in. Um, look at the updates. Uh, Julie posts his updates back there. Marty will post updates. I mean, there's other leaders that post the updates. Mr. Mufara will show up. He shows up timely, time and time again. He lets us know what's going on. He's very, very good about that. He wants us to feel good about where we're going and what we're doing and wants us to know that we're in very, very good hands. So you don't really have to stress out any of this stuff. They've got a schedule for it. We're excited about it. It's rolling out. And just remember... Uh, as we move forward, you're not going to need to register a, a new account entirely, so to say, which is to say, don't go to uh, onpassive.com to register a new, uh, to open up a new registration uh, for on passive or through uh, old mail. Just, I mean, don't do it. That's uh, for the public. That's uh, for uh, the new traffic coming in and the results of some of the campaigns, we're going to have something that we're going to be working on as founders in the ecosystem. Um, but if you happen to go there and look at the uh, on passive.com, when you look at the, uh, the registration required through there right now, it, it asks for uh, the name of a user, uh, the name of a, a new account, the name of a secondary uh, email account that's going to be used as uh, something for two-factor authorization, uh, what what is termed on the website as an alternative email. They're going to ask for a phone number and your location, your country location. So keep in mind, before long, perhaps within 24 hours, maybe less, somewhere around in there, we all know it's coming, just not sure at what point it's going to pop up. We're all going to be able to, founders will be able to register from the back office to log into the OnPassive dashboard, uh, what, we're, what we were calling, uh, I think we were calling it the OnPassive business solution, and now we're calling it the OnPassive ecosystem, the uh, um, uh, OES, uh, I think Mr. Mufara said. Um, but right now, I don't know if the old founder registration is going to look like the process that's currently on on passive.com, right? Since we're going to see it in the ecosystem or if it's going to look like that in the ecosystem. But I'm sure that it's going to have some of the same elements, right? And that it's going to be easy enough to figure out. Mr. Mufar has gone to great pains, <laughs> extreme lengths to make sure that this is a simple thing and that we don't need to try to overthink it. So keep those things in mind. Um, this is to say that we're going to want to log in completely uh, to an account in OFounders once this actually happens to create that O-mail that we're going to need. When that happens, you're going to also, once it's created and you've given it the elements that it needs, you're going to want want to log out of O founders completely, perhaps even close the web browser if you have other accounts that you need to open O mail accounts in. So if you open the O founders or the, the on passive ecosystem, 
and you click up on the new users in that in that section or whatever that's going to be up on the top right hand side that will allow you to create a new uh, old mail account for your o founders account um you're going to want to go through that step create that email and then log out completely of o founders i would even close the web browser just to be sure because it's going to be very confusing otherwise so if you go in to another account then you open another o mail email for that account and then once that's done you know close that account out if you've got a third o founders account like that so that, and that's what we're saying is you, you want to completely log out of the first account close the session and start a new session by logging into another account if you've got one if not and if you if you just got one you you're great you're fine everything's good just repeat the process for all your accounts now if you stay um from the same never mind i won't even I, i'm not even going to go there i just understand this as a founder you want to you want to open your email accounts the o mail accounts from your office in the ecosystem and to do otherwise if you go and if you register from on passive.com that's going to create uh, a whole lot of confusion for the tech teams it's going to create extra work for uh, support uh, teams and customer support teams uh, it's not that anything's going to break or cause massive problems but it's just going to be some extra work to remove the duplicates so that's why we decided uh you know on passive decided to completely delete the o mail within o founders and to start fresh right i mean we're all in this to win it uh we're gonna we're gonna win bigger together and you know we we're really right now at a point where we need to be getting ready to be in the best shape of our lives so please log into your back office log into the ecosystem when it's available log into the o founders now check out the link that marty and the other leaders have put up there uh, listen to what Mr. Mufara says. I hope that it it, it rings uh, a little more uh, easily uh, for you to hear him say the way he says it. And just know that we want to uh, log in uh, the correct way and create the accounts the correct way and that there will be a lot more information coming out. So hang on to your hat. Get ready to be in the best shape of your lives and just uh, stay informed and stay engaged. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you listening to this. I hope that it was helpful. Uh, David uh, Switzer, it's good to see you here. Masood, ah, Miss Hodges, Susan, wow, wonderful. Uh, good to good to see. Man, what a what a treat to, to see you here, my friend. It's good to hear from you and good to see you here. I certainly appreciate that. Um, uh, Ali, it's good to see you guys here too. Uh, Veli Sala. Uh, good to see all you guys, man. Rupa, man. Hi, 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 everybody. Uh, I, I'm. I was going to go through and see if there's any questions. I know that uh, people have been asking questions, and it's a little confusing. But you know, just breathe, breathe, breathe from the lower belly, and just enjoy where we're at right now because we're making history. We're doing things that have never been done. Uh, we are on a path to uh, some very glorious things that will be happening for us. And we certainly appreciate uh, Mr. Mufara and the tech teams, everybody that's doing what they're doing, uh, even those that have been working so long, so hard for so many hours. We appreciate that. We're looking very forward to this thing opening up. And we are right at the precipice. We are at the crown. We're at the, at, at the pinnacle, the paramount, whatever word you want to put. We are there. And we are just about ready to jump into the ocean of goodness that we have for humanity. And hello, Lisa Massetti. Good to see you here. Cecil, nice to see you. Ernest, you too. Joanne, hi. Man, there's a lot of people here. I appreciate that. Um, go, go listen to the phone, I believe. Uh, you might have to tilt your ear a little bit to it. But it's good. It's good information. Uh, he was tired. He was probably wore out. He's been working very, very good for us uh, over the over the last, well, since forever. I've never met anybody in my life quite like him that's doing what he's doing. Dawn, good to see you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you being here, too. And 
keep in mind that every day we want to do something good for our business. We want to talk good. We want, we just want the right stuff out there. You know, we don't need to get wrapped up in anything that, that isn't, isn't beneficial for us. Uh, if you have folks that are asking questions and, and you can't answer the questions, get a hold of a leader. Uh, we can probably, uh, probably help with that, but all right. I mean, I've talked enough. Thank you so very much. I hope that you guys have a wonderful on passive day. I know that I'm looking forward to it and it's going to be a glorious event this week is going to be unfolding some things for us. So if you're not excited, go listen to Ash last night. Um, uh, if if for some reason we can find the, uh, the the webinar, it was a lot of exciting people with a lot of exciting things. And, you know, founders, you, you're it. I mean, man, founders, there's there's never going to be any more founders. You're it. There's there's a single number. You know, if we can get through our uh, through our heads, the importance of the role that we have within on passive, and the unlimited good that we can do through on passive, then life is going to be pretty good for all of us. And and you're going to get it eventually. If you're not there yet, oh, you will. You will. You won't be able to miss it. Life's going to get good. Life is good. Life is going to win. We're going to win at life. We're going to win together. We're going to win bigger. Thank you, everybody. God bless all of you. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful on passive day. Thanks.